I'm just trying to figure out why they didn't subscribe yet. So as you've seen, I just posted a video of me telling you how my my uh, journey has been halted when I was uh, smoking bud. Um, today's just honestly a video of me showing a little bit of transparency. Um, I got back on my fasting. I stopped smoking bud just because it doesn't put me in a in a in a in a I guess in a vibration that is conducive for my health. Meaning, when I smoke, man, I love to eat. I, and when you combine the both, I can't stop eating. I have a very addictive personality. But anyways, my weight two weeks ago was 224 pounds. I regained all the weight that I had lost, and I had stopped fasting. I, it was ch trust me, I ate four packs, four 12 packs of Pop Tarts within two day three day span so this is me pure underwears all right don't mind uh, this is my current weight i'm currently on a 72 right now oh. so i'm currently right at 200 pounds now i ain't gonna lie to y'all man like my whole life, and, and by the way, I'm doing these videos right off the rip, off my chest, because if I think about it too much, I ain't going to fucking do it. Um, right off the rip, man, when I, I love burning. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But I also love eating. And those two in combinations for me, most people have different situations, different problems. But for me, my blood type, me and how I am is dangerous, man. I, I'll blow up to 300 pounds easily. I could lose weight fast and I could gain weight fast. And now I'm getting into those ages where I'm 30 years old right now, man. I don't got my my youth is starting to slow down. You know what I mean? So it's going to get to a point where, I mean, when you hit your 40s, you ain't going to be able to have that same energy that you did when you were 30, 20, 18 years old. You know what I mean? So I got to be mindful of my health, my mental health, most importantly, my spiritual health and, um, my physical health. So if I take care of my physical right now and just stay away from the alcohol, stay away from the weed, right? I know I put myself in the best position possible to be the best version of me, to be what this universe, God, Allah, Mohammed, Buddha, whatever you want to call him, created me to be, you know what I'm saying? And when I'm at 200 pounds, thoughts of creation, thoughts of, uh, uh, of giving back, giving back to, to, to people that, that are in need, that's what satisfies me. It's not what I get. It's what I give at the end of the day. Um, so this is a journey. A journey means that it ain't no straight path, man. It, this, shit, this shit's not fucking easy because... What you're dealing with is years of tribulation of your past that you haven't really dealt with. So when you fast, you're picking up those old problems and now you're finally facing them. You're facing the aggravation of them. You're facing the pain of them. And I noticed when I suppress, when I try to ignore my shit, it doesn't mean just because I ignore it in time past and I don't feel it no more that that bullshit is not there. My bullshit's always going to be there. You know what I mean? Um, I got to understand that I come from a long lineage of mental health issues, diabetes, hypertension, arthritis. Um, so when I put myself out of balance and out of frequency, weight wise, I throw my whole thing off balance. Think about it like this, right? If you're taking a trip all the way to California, right? Your car is probably like two, three tons, whatever it may be. And you add another four tons on top of that car. That car is going to get there slower, using more energy, and it's going to cause more damage than it is good. See what I'm saying? When you weigh something down, like I'm six foot, I should be weighing no more than 185. Now, most people that are on that journey of getting jacked and getting swole, right, they might object. They might, they might say differently. But... In my experience, I noticed spiritually and mentally and physically 
that if I'm overweight, I've been 200, 220, 230, 240, 250 my whole life. When I was 250, I had a knee injury. When I was 230, I had a back injury. When I was 215, both my knees hurt. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and that, that it didn't serve me. It didn't serve me being at that weight, right? It didn't serve me. I don't have no reason. I don't play football. Like, I'm not trying to get into the league. You know what I mean? I don't need to be weighing 220 pounds like a linebacker. You know what I mean? I don't need to be 250 pounds. I need to be at an optimal weight so I could be the most efficient for, my, for myself first. For myself first. Because if I don't love me, how can I love my kids? How can I love my wife? You know what I mean? How can I love them optimally, truly, if I'm not at... At, at my um, design weight that the creator designed me to be at. I'm six foot. I need to be a little bit lighter. And the thing about it is that when you embark in this journey of getting rid of the waste and getting rid of the weight, right? You're going to see it. You're going to get criticism from the closest people to you, to your from your parents, to your brothers, your sisters, your friends. The closest people to you are going to Make you second guess yourself. But you got to not be of this world and be reborn again. Meaning, fuck what everybody else is saying. Fuck what everybody else is doing. Right? Unlearn what you've been taught throughout your life. And become childlike again. Meaning, learning everything. Absorbing everything. Standing back from the distance and just analyzing. Analyzing life for what it is. See what I'm saying? I'm on a journey. Now, journey to some of y'all is a straight line back and forth straight. Mine is freaking 360 circle, fuck up, come back, do it again. You know what I mean? And that's just me being transparent with y'all. I'm just being fucking real with y'all. Doing these YouTube videos are fucking difficult. They're fucking difficult. But I know someone in, in, in my similar predicament, someone that is just like me, is going through it and needs to fucking hear this. You know what I mean? Because you got greatness within you. Not to be fucking, not to be fucking, um, you know, abstract or anything like that, or corny or whatnot. But you gotta understand, when you came out of your fucking daddy's sack, there was 500 million of you aiming for an egg. So if I line you up with 500 million people right now, 500 million people on a fucking racing line, you wouldn't believe that you would win that race. But when you left your daddy's sack, you won that fucking race. So you're chosen. Remember, you're made in the image of God. You are God and you are the devil all in one. You have the will to make a choice. And not making a choice is a fucking choice. You choose who you want to feed. The God in you or the devil in you. Don't make people, don't let people make you believe that God is something outside of you and that's up above. No. That the devil's something outside of you and that's always trying to attack. No. Sometimes you don't know certain shit and you're violating fucking certain laws. If I put my hand on top of a fucking stove, I'm violating, I'm violating the laws of fucking fire. Of thermogenics. If I fucking decided right now, jump out this motherfucking window, I'm violating a law of gravity. Right? So this, this life is very, 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 it's simple. It's simple, but it ain't easy. It ain't fucking easy. So anyways, I hope you you find this video in, in, in good fucking health, man. Especially during these fucking crazy times. Good mental health and, and good physical health and good spiritual health. Take care of your body, right? It says, I know, I know in, in a good book, it says in Hosea 4, 6, and I'm not Christian by no means, uh, my people will perish due to a lack of wisdom. And it's not because they didn't have the wisdom. It's because they rejected the wisdom. So if this doesn't resonate with you, take some time, man. Take some time. Go look at some other shit. Come back to this shit and see for what it hits you. And every time you watch this video again and again, you're going to see something different in you that you didn't see before. And that's the fucking truth. Anyways, I hope you're having a fucking blessed, amazing day. Stay grinding. Stay positive. Um, and stay real to yourself. I love y'all, man. I truly do. Peace.